that lay young and up the sum. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no person they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose. Yo, 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 what to do, YouTube? It's your boy, Easy B. And I'm back with another video. You feel me, bruh? Alright, man. So, we got a trending topic to talk about today. Uh, Fort Worth artists. You know what I'm saying? The popular Fort Worth artist, the biggest artist coming out of their city as in current time. Uh, Go Yayo, Hood Fame Go Yayo, and Lil CJ Casino. Now, uh, it's been clear that these guys have been into it over the past couple of years. Uh, they have not been seen eye to eye. They have actually released a couple of diss songs towards each other. Well, not full diss songs, but they sent shots through the music to each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and Instagram posts, story posts, stuff like that. They've been going at it since the release of Go Gayo. Now, uh, I mean, if you're watching this video, you already kind of know the background. These guys used to be in one group. You know what I'm saying? They used to rap together a while back, then they fell out. And ever since then, it's kind of been up between these two. Now, Go Gayo went to, to the feds, he went to prison, went to the federal prison. Uh, he's just been released, I'll say about seven months now. He's been out for seven months. He started off dropping music consistently, you know what I'm saying? But he was getting a lot of mixed feedback, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the people wasn't really rocking with the new music how they was with the older music. You feel what I'm saying? His older music was like some legendary classic type music. Uh, even like the songs he was dropping before he went to the feds, like uh, Favorite Ho, that song was a hit. You know what I'm saying? It might not have got the views that it should have because of like sensory issues, YouTube issues. Uh, but the song go crazy. Uh, he was doing his thing before he went in. Now, when he went in, he was in for, I want to say two, three years. He was in for some time. I know that much. He went to the feds. Uh, CJ was kind of cool. And CJ went to Houston and was, you know what I'm saying, building his network, networking with people, Sauce Walker, the whole Sauce crew. He was rocking with them boys heavy, you know what I'm saying? Just doing features and, you know what I'm saying? Playing it cool, for real, for real. Uh, now, <laughs> shout out Dallas Global. CJ Casino did an interview with Dallas Global. And and Terry Blue asked him, he was like, so why did you move back to Fort Worth closer to Go Yayo's release from prison? He said he heard chatter in the streets. He heard that. You know what I'm saying? If it's if it's up, then it's up. He wanna be in his home turf just in case it's up for real. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know about the streets. I don't know if it's you know what I'm saying, how they rock it in the streets. If I did, I wouldn't even tell y'all on here because that's kind of federal. But uh let's keep this musically. Let's keep it all the way music right here. So uh CJ moved back to Fort Worth towards the release of Go Yeah Yo. Go Yeah Yo. Well, let me go back actually. Let me go back. We did a vlog, I did a vlog with CJ Casino. And it was on the west side of Fort Worth in Las Vegas trails. Now, when I pulled up to this location, I was confused. Like, damn, I didn't know because I didn't know CJ used to live in that area. I'm thinking, like, is this this go yeah, yo, like what, what's going on? But come to find out, CJ Casino used to live in that area as well. He used to, you know what I'm saying, do his thing on that block that we was at. So I was kind of confused, but I found out later on that that's what was going on. That they actually used to live in the same hood. So uh fast forward, CJ starts dropping more music as uh, Yayo's on the way home from the feds and then when Yayo got released they both were dropping music though Yayo was getting mixed reviews on the music people were saying this ain't it they were, I expect something different from you whatever now Yayo gave us a lot of different type of music initially you know what I'm saying gave us some of that drill that shooting up bang bang and he gave us some other shit like some some deep music when he was in front of the courthouse in Tarrant County stuff like that uh i'm not sure what the people exactly want from yayo uh but i know i want like the, the hit music like the no visa the uh favorite ho you know what i'm saying that type of music um uh, i don't know i don't know it's just they saying it ain't hitting the same for real now cj went on a, a legendary run like he went on a run i had never seen him do before and he just kept getting better and better and better and better and better and a lot of people started to say that cj took over fort worth and cj is now the king of the murder which go yayo's to claim that so right now they kind of bumping heads yayo's taking a step back he hasn't been dropping as much music he hasn't really dropped nothing in the past couple of months so i'm not sure if he's gearing up for a run or if he's about to sign a deal or you know what i'm saying getting his business in order or what but that's where we at right now with it now i do want to ask you guys 
what do you guys think about the little CJ Casino versus Go Yayo versus or or head to head or beef or whatever? Who do y'all think is winning this musically? I'm going to give y'all my opinion right now. I'm going to say Lil CJ Casino is winning because he's been consistent. You know what I'm saying? He's been keeping his name in the media, whether it's for good, bad, or ugly. You know what I'm saying? He 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 dissed Big X the plug. Big X the plug responded back to him. They had a situation going on. Uh, that's just taking his name up further and further and further. While Yayo kind of sitting on his hands right now. He ain't really dropping nothing. He ain't really doing nothing for him musically that we can see. You know what I'm saying? Now, there was a conversation that had uh, Dallas Global. Me and Dallas Global talked to Yayo on the phone like, yo, what you doing? What you waiting on? He was just telling us, just wait. You know what I'm saying? Just be patient. So I'm not sure what's coming up next. But I do know right now, if we being all the way real, unbiased, Lil CJ right now is currently the king of the murder. And uh, not saying that Yayo's done. Not saying that he won't bounce back, won't shake back. Because, you know what I'm saying? Yayo still, Yayo, he still can make a hit whenever he wants. He used to. I don't know about now, but we gonna see. Like he said, just stay patient, just wait. We gonna see. But it's definitely interesting to see how these boys are grinding. You know what I'm saying? They putting out music. They both going up. You know what I'm saying? When they do drop, and it's it's just it's crazy to see. But also in this interview that CJ did with Dallas Global, he said he's being strategic with the times he releases his music. Like when he know yeah yo finna drop or was finna drop, he will drop too. And it's like, damn, like, you on boy, you on boy heels for real, like, you ain't let him get no shine for real. It's just, it's some good competition musically, man. But, uh, I don't know. We're going to come back to this and update y'all and let y'all know what's going on with it. But I do want y'all to comment down below. Let me know y'all think is the king of the murder right now and who's winning this music rap beef. You know what I'm saying? Now, y'all like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn the notification bell on. Y'all like this video and get in the algorithm. I'm going to keep dropping more content, man. Y'all rock out with your boy, man. It's your boy, BZB. I'm out. He gon' roll when it's right Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night Once he ran from automatics, he done chose not to fight We gon' catch